Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Atelier Rizza, Principles of Political Economy and Taxation. I'm the Mysterious JG. And I'm the Lethal Feline. I think that's the sexiest uh, video title that we've had so far. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, last time we improved the local economy and uh, increased the amount of lumber that was available. So that's cool. Uh, not the amount of lumbar that's available, though. We will not be seeing him at all. Oh, man. Luckily, he kind of sounds like a dumb guy. I thought, no, that's more like a... Really more like Floss's like dad. Moritz. Just... Says the guy who has like eight different voices. They're all the same voice. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so... What do you want to do, man? You want to explore... The... Oh, you know what? We can explore ruins. But we probably need to hit that cafe. Mm -hmm. Or Esther Central District. But we keep looking there. I cannot find this helpful helper. It's like Hamburger oh. Helper, but different. So I just asked you what we should do, and then I decided to just go to the cafe. Fine. It's so now fine. the character whose name I don't remember, or a voice I don't remember. Thank you. I'll go ahead and post it on the bulletin board. I'd appreciate that very much. I hope they, I hope they pulled the same shit with Lent, like... Five different seeds in which we just see his open his chest with his shirt open and they just pretend we don't know that it's lent maybe even in muscle volcano gear mm -hmm. and you'll be happy to know folks that i'm not suffering the delay oh jg cool. restarted my stream so i'm actually seeing it what appears to be real time oh man that's been on screen for like five minutes lethal even though we're only two minutes into the video whoa it's claudia what the fuck <laughs> Oh, hey, the Rizza. Huh? Are you here to eat or looking for work? It can be both. Yeah, I thought I'd check out the border boy. Wow, there's a lot today. The Rizza, is that really you? I assumed you'd be dead by now. Nope. I'm a professional uh, Rizza impersonator. I mean, huh? Oh, she's got like that hourglass figure. Claudia Valence, member of the Valence crime family. <laughs> she's like chief enforcer of the Valence crew. What? No way, Claudia in the flesh? <laughs> He's Cla like, who is this person? <laughs> Claudia Valence of the Psychic Companions Network? What are you doing here? Boy. <laughs> And they, they the thighs meet. And they, they start punching each other. <laughs> and then the music starts kicking up. And then suddenly they're in a sewer and Claudia's riding a motorcycle while <laughs> while wielding a pipe. And no one knows how they ended up here. Oh my, it really is you. It's been like one whole video game. I can't believe it's you. I think it could be dead in an alley. And in a place like this, it's been forever. How have you been? Tell me every little thing, girl. Oh, it's been pretty all right. Okay, well, nice to see you. Bye. Wow. Wow, three years, huh? How's your dad? He's off on another business trip. He's terrorizing some poor girl, making her do work for the community before he can live in the apartment. But he's doing well, working just as hard as ever. Oh, so he's not here with you. I've been helping him out a lot lately, and he decided to put me in charge of this region. I am the oh, new region. dictator of this area. <laughs> wow, you're like in the big town now, girl. I just hope that our entire family isn't eventually on trial for fraud. B? <laughs> what's fraud? <laughs> um, the Rizza, what's that Pokemon hiding behind you? Oh, this is Fee. Cow Long Tour. He is a friend. And also made me a bubble soul. <laughs> He's a friend. Unless the big secret reveal is that he's evil. We don't know. <laughs> this is Fee. Fee, this is Cloudy. She's a friend too. I don't think she's a Pokemon. Be nice to her though, okay? Uma? Oprah. Oprah? Uma. Fee, huh? Very nice to meet you, Fee. Fee. <laughs> Hehehe. 
Claudia, Claudia! I try to make him feel comfortable, you know? <laughs> so, there is a what brings you to Das Kapital? Actually, don't do that Claudia Claudia thing. He finds it patronizing. <laughs> and I, I know me. this because he peed on me when I did Visit Visit. Tell him invite me to come and investigate some of the ruins in this area. Pond ruins? Yes. Oh, so you're on another adventure then. Yeah, also yes. <laughs> I guess you could say that. I'm gonna cock my eyebrow. Hmm. Is it dangerous? Hell yeah. Well, I can't say it's completely safe, but it's nothing like what we went through three years ago. Really, there's just been bright lights and one Pokemon. Oh, I see. So, um, the Rizza. Yes. What is it? Uh, never mind. It's nothing. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> nice to okay. see you. See you again in three years. <laughs> Well, anyway, do you have some time to talk? There's, we have a lot to catch up on. Have you seen Tao? He is like this big now. I mean, that, that Patricia seems jealous, but uh, you should check Tao out if you haven't. That boy has grown. Bro. <laughs> I'd love to, but my schedule is completely full for quite some time. I'm sorry, it'll be at least Act 3 before I can join your party. I'm sincere about this, but you'll be here in the capital for a while, right? Well, that's the plan, and we'll keep account for it this time. How many times you've been sincere? <laughs> oh, wow. All right, let's see. Yeah, somebody in the comments. Then let's definitely make time to get together as soon as possible. Sure, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. That's why I'm doing this pose. Bye. And we're bye. Bye. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. We're in real life, Claudia. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we're not in fictional world, which is where phones exist. <laughs> well, I seem so much more mature. I'd better not fall behind. And they become more mature, too. Fee. <laughs> that you're clearly looking for a response on this. Oh, uh, fee. Fee. <laughs> boing, boing. Have you been taking care of the bulletin board request, the Rizza? Because if you haven't, your ass is going to get tossed out of that house. <laughs> yup, it's basically my job now. That, uh, you know, in addition to being a bed. Wow, you're pretty amazing. You know that? Oh, hell yeah, I know it. Okay, well, fine. I'll, I won't tell you again if you're going to act like that. The request people post here certainly aren't easy. They are? Oh, no, they're have easy. I been doing the wrong requests? In fact, a lot of the requests are quite dangerous. There's one that says walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. I guess some of the hunt quests can be some kind of crazy sometimes. Sometimes they're the big old chunker monsters. I mean, it ain't like Final Fantasy XII bullshit crazy, but it's pretty crazy. Or eleven, whichever one had like the hunt quests. I can't exactly complain to them on your behalf, but please be careful, all right? I mean, I could complain, but I'm not going to. You must put your safety above the price when picking up the request, you know? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take my health. Uh, I'll take my health over a few coins in a day. But I do need to live in my apartment. That's, wh Italian. That's why I dropped that job where I just donated plasma and subjected myself to medical experiments. Also, it looks like my, uh, I got something tied to my wrist, which is clipping into my breast. I was doing that before, but I didn't mention it. Thank you for worrying about me, Zephine. Okay, I think hey. like we just became this dude. <laughs> Are there any good quests? I want a quest where I can make it big instantly and get a massive profit at the same time. Okay. Yeah. We all want that. Uh, that I, mean, I can understand the desire, but uh, can we report any requests? I haven't accepted any requests, so probably not. Oh, sure. We got a day to hunt the Elder Fairy. Well, that's an easy one. We can do that. Thanks. Let me that. get this drunk. You want me to kill an old fairy? 
That's pretty much it. Okay. I've already accepted it, right? Yep. Can I accept? Like I. I think there is another one. There. Oh, there's two of them. We deliver wild potatoes. I believe we can do that right now. <laughs> Earn in. I'm so carefree. I'm not even going to check the quantity, the quality of my wild potatoes to give them the shittiest ones possible. This is the kind of madman I've become. We got 103 large bones. I think we can do the same. Just turn in the top three large bones. Large bones in your area. Deliver else sugar. Else sugar we actually don't have enough of, do we? Yep, we're missing one. Oh, we can turn in that uni charm. The oh, other right. uni charm. Okay. This is why we made an extra one, Wink. Yeah, no, I, I read ahead. Shy man, I likes what I likes, and that's all what I likes. Rui <laughs> wants a homemade charm. Two magicals of, uh, we have 255 that meet the requirements for Rui. All right, I'll just give him two of these things, because, uh, torch grass. There you go. I'm actually pretty superstitious. Makes a chop. Oh, never mind. You, you, you went past it. That bandit chap buys lots of vegetables for me, but sometimes I'd rather sell something a little more unique. So let's turn in some seafood. We'll give him a variety here. Actually, pretty shells are harder to come by than the other two. I was going to say, I'll, I'll give you a shell and two sardines. Now we've got, uh, no, we don't have any seeds. <clears throat> but we've got scrap paper for the, the note-taking woman. Take note, woman. No, that's what you want to do, right? Here right. we go. Citizens <clears throat> Plus. So we need sugar and we need this stuff and we need to kill things. So seeds, I do not know how to get. So I don't know that I want to mess with that. Yeah, we'll need to look at a tutorial first. Oh god, oh no! <laughs> we may have lost the tutorial forever. That's sugar. Uh, I feel like that's a thing we make. Which means we can probably just accept it. I don't want to accept the one where I'm not sure that we can do it. Because there may be a penalty for accepting and then not completing requests. Game over, yeah. yeah no, I'm, I'm sure the penalty isn't game over, but it's still probably not desirable. <laughs> Is it the Forgotten Ruins I want to go to? I want to go to the capital outskirts. Yeah, since you failed my quest, I get to break your legs. That's how it works. <laughs> if you'd accomplished my quest, I'd only be allowed to break one of your legs. I remember agreeing to that. It's in the fine print. Near the back. Why is it in there? I don't know, I just like to break legs. My old man always said, go break a leg. I took that serious. Anyway, thanks for listening to my monologue. I'm an unknown off-screen gangster character. <laughs> <laughs> of the off-screen gangster family. <laughs> <laughs> He's the first lieutenant of the off-screen gangster clan. You know, there's another, like, in the various side quests of the Yakuza series, or the Like a Dragon series, or whatever the hell we're supposed to call it now, there's enough different, like, unnamed, just, like, um, well-dressed Yakuza, slovenly Yakuza, like, disinterested Yakuza, Yakuza with a peanut allergy, like, there's gotta be a, a you know, a off-screen unknown Yakuza clan. Probably. All these sparkly mushrooms. Or should really have said he's gonna pick one up. Okay. I, no, I was like, yeah, that that, what, that did kind of jump out, and uh, no, they, they don't they ain't mean a thing. Cause they ain't got that swing. Riz is a better cl uh, climber than the pro tag of Uncharted. Uncharted waters, new horizon. All right, we haven't done combat in a while. I hope I remember how it works. <laughs> Squeaks with pain and misery. Casting magic missile. Tau sets the damn thing on fire. 
Let's We're gonna see. go. It's weak against bombs, but I don't have enough to use a bomb because that takes two CCs. Two CCs of bomb juice. Stat. <laughs> Surgical bomb juice. He's freaking squeaking forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, bitches. Thankfully, she didn't chop off anyone's head with that flourish. Oh, and we uh, we unlocked confirmed details. <laughs> that is not what we unlocked. Imitating uh, Impel skills. Aggression one. <laughs> We need to Imitating defeat Impel makes me angry. <laughs> we need to we, we need to defeat a certain member members of the Roadrunner race, which we haven't encountered yet. I can't yeah, believe we've the, heard a lot of noises out here, but no beep meeps yet. <laughs> I can't believe the mentality of the Roadrunner race. All right, let's head for Italia Rizzo and make some Elch sugar. Then we can turn in two side quests and hopefully earn another couple of hours at this uh, atelier before we get kicked out. First you put some rocks in there. Of course, when you're making sugar, the first thing you do is insert rocks. <laughs> insert rock, receive sugar. That's how it works. He has oh. some rocks and some avocados. Well, uh, some of them weasel slayer avocados. Oh, Maybe, man. Uh, do I have to use honey? Well, I might, I might have to make some more honey in the future. But that is good enough for this. Three units of sweet sugar. This is normal, added the story. This is not normal, folks. We're losing our country. Sorry. <laughs> it's the new normal. Gathering quantity. Yeah, they've got 500, and we may actually be able to buy something with this, but... Uh... Gathering quality would be pretty probably all right. That's quantity there. Yeah. It'll also probably be all right. It's be 800, so we can't afford that. We could get... Uh -huh. Quantity is kind of like, eh. Like, we haven't unlocked anything where we can carry more before we have to go back to the Italia. I, uh, I think I'll sit on it for now. Hey. Let's get back to the cafe. There's all sorts of stuff happening in the ca Academy it. District. Shit. I see all the heads. Shit's all the gone, chibi heads. Shit has gone wild since we left. Shit gone wild. Volume 6. Let's report a giant monster. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I can do this. I like how we killed that one. It counts for both. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I hope I can count on you again. Thank you so much for, like, doubling up on that request. They both really hated that damn Elder Fairy. <laughs> it peed in our Cheerios, collectively. It peed in our collective Cheerios. <laughs> the people's Cheerios. <laughs> the Rock says, Don't pee in the people's Cheerios. I've got smell -a -la -la -la. So this is just going to give us 200 coal. Like, I wonder if there reaches a point where we don't care about the ones that don't give us rep with citizens. I think these are all just randomly populated. I so think that, yeah, I think they are. But uh, Rui wants more sh Oh, we'll get more rep with bandits if we turn in some more magical. <laughs> you want that lantern grass? We got what you need. We'll feed that need. Give you some more sardinals. There you go. We don't Delaria, have the seed for uh, Deloria. She, she still wants the seed. She's not interested in this uh, southern bullshit. I want to write, says note-taking woman. Oh, this is repeating. Mm -hmm. We can just we can uh, spam the note-taking woman quest to get infinite points. Uh, you're just giving us coal. You are giving us rep with citizens, but I don't have any more uni charms. The gaudy rich man. Oh, I might as well just do animal products because it's here. It'll clear some other you shit out. Really <laughs> looking forward to some animal product. 
An emergency. I need more animal crap in my house. Originally, <laughs> animal crap is what I need. Oh, 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 citizens and city folk are two different groups, huh? Citizen? City folk? Citizen. Well, why can't you just show us where it's got to? Like, nope, incrementally. Well, we're already like halfway up there. I'm starting to feel like that threatening visit from Mr. What's-His-Face was, uh, maybe <laughs> just Him a just little... Him just smoke? No. Yeah, no, I feel like, uh, I feel like the city's already, like, ready to, uh, we're demigods now. We're not full gods yet, but we're on the <laughs> we way. We one star, we're demigods. <laughs> <laughs> we're on our way. Two stars demigod, three stars creator god. Right now, we're just, like, you know, half gods. <laughs> oh, is that, isn't that... Is that rough? No. <laughs> oh, hi. There is a perfect timing. There's someone I'd like you to meet. And now Lethal and JG have to decide who's going to voice him. <laughs> Dennis, this is the RZA. She's an alchemist and a close personal friend of mine. Oh, see. So you're... Go ahead. Oh, oh see. So you're... Claudia, uh, let's see. I was going to win the Claudia's been was... telling us about. Nice to meet you, finally. I was gonna go Irish, too. Who's <laughs> Dennis? I, I have to find another character. Like, the next character is also Irish, so we'll just have, like, two Irish characters, but... Oh, um... I don't know what to do around Irish people. Drink, Claudia, I suppose. Claudia, let me introduce myself. As Claudia said, I'm Dennis. I work in the Artisan District as a blacksmith. Uh, I guess we should have known from that from the welders thing. He's a blacksmith. He should he should be Scottish, but it's obviously too late now. I mean, we could be doing it, but I won't. Dennis Holland, member of the you know the Braveheart <laughs> crime family. <laughs> he is both a blacksmith and a jeweler. He's Jewish. Wow, both at once. <laughs> <laughs> so you must really love working with metal huh? and also them stones. Oh, oh, oh. Ma mainly I love just making things. Metal is nice because you can shape it however you want. And it doesn't talk back like women do. Speaking of which, Cordia, that shipment of metal that we were talking about earlier. <laughs> and the blood diamonds. Yes, of course, I should be able to get it to you first thing in tomorrow morning. Oh, so you uh, you get your mails from the Valence Company, huh? Absolutely. They've always had the highest quality metals, so I'll never have to worry. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. Just telling the truth, the quality of the final product relies completely on the raw materials. Better <laughs> ingredients, better yes. pizza, uh, better, uh, you know, Papa John's. It has nothing to do with my skill. I'm not adding anything. I'm just slapping it together, throwing it into a pot. <laughs> anyway, I better get back to my studio. I'm looking forward to the delivery, Claudia. And there is a, if you ever want to check out all of our different metal products, feel free to stop on by any time. You can go ahead and purchase a gift. A blackest gift from the most metal of all uh, alchemists. Nothing. Thank you, I'll sure to come by sometime. We will be found out in the future. And I'll be looking forward to you too. Bye for now. By the way, I'm still not joining your party. Let's stand with our arms unnaturally far out to the sides. I didn't know you took delivery requests from customers face to face like that. Don't you use the telephone like everyone else? <laughs> In fantasy world? <laughs> not real life? <laughs> it's not so bad once you get used to it. Besides, the work itself is worthwhile. Well, it is at least worthwhile. Uh? Oh, nothing. I better get back to my office and start preparing his shipment. I told him he'd have it first thing in the morning. It's the middle of the night, so I really don't have a lot of time to mess around here. Is 
It sounded like something was bothering her. Perhaps it's that jerk blacksmith. I'm gonna go kick his ass. It's so full of sounds and things to be a man. Oh, there's more faces here than the, the game can contain. Mm-hmm. Now we'll see which one the game cares about most. Looks like Boss wins the battle. Is that Boss? He's looking all like hunched over. But you have a hernia, Boss? Phew. I really do think he's working too hard. Looks like he might collapse any second. Or it might be his up. Hey, no, I hope no plants run into him. We don't have a tactical genius like Vulture Bronco to take care of the situation. He's such a diligent student, maybe I should make him something that lifts up his spirits. <laughs> like a coffee. I am about to say something like, are we talking about booze or are we talking about maybe I'll wear a little something? <laughs> and then she puts on a baseball hat that says, go boss. <laughs> Medicinal support unlocked. All right, so. Oh, never mind. I keep confusing quest. Like, whatever these are, they're not quests. The uh... there's oh, no. quests, and then there's requests. Okay, this is. Hold on, no, god damn it! There's a there's a different screen that uh, suddenly doesn't <laughs> want to appear. Uh huh. I used to be able to get a thing that would show us what the the story was, and now was it the touchpad button, or was that the map? No, this that's is the, the that's fast travel. Oh, is was it the diary? Let's be on. Hmm. Now I'm losing my I'm losing my diagonal mind. Quests, uh, gathering tools, hold exploration diary. Oh, that's right. But this, no, this is, uh, that's different. That's an exploration diary. It's not a normal diary. Event log, maybe? Up on the D-pad? No. no, that's that. Well, I'm done. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm doing I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, it used to be a thing. Okay, I just fast traveled to where we already were in the hopes that it would just auto-trigger one of those other two heads. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there's some kind of major league, uh... Thing happening up here. Up at the academy itself. Well, actually, ooh, it's major league enough. We might want to save it for next time. Come on. You think you got another one in you tonight? Come on. All right, we'll do it now. If you think this might be our last video of the evening, so let's visit with whoever this is. Let's just see what's at the top of the stairs. At least it's Cliffy and uh, Tao. Tao, oh, Cliffy, what are you guys up to? Hey, Rizzo, we were... <clears throat> I mean... Hey, Rizzo, we were just picking up uh, where we left off the other day. I think he may have given me the missing piece of the puzzle I've been looking for. So now I can finish my 20-piece uh, jigsaw puzzle of a kitten. <laughs> That's us. Nice. What are you talking about? You mean the eternal treasure in scare quotes? That, that eternal Felina puzzle? Exactly. I find another old legend that talks about how a star fell to the ground around here. Might be Art Carney, Joyce Randolph, Audrey Meadows. To be honest, I'm not especially interested in such obviously made-up stories like that. Sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. Don't be so sure. A flood big enough to swallow a whole city would require a massive basin. M basin. <laughs> and what could create such a huge basin? A falling star would certainly be a good candidate. I suppose that does make a certain kind of sense. Bullshit, Kai. I never would have guessed the legend of the star was connected to the Flood. It's a strange world we live in. I was surprised at first, too. But putting them together, you start to get a picture of where to find the ruins. Wan ruins. I believe we're looking for... Looking at the giant lake past the forest of the north. I think the ruins are submerged there. 
That's great, sir. Now all we have to do is figure out how a way to explore the bottom of the lake. You guys don't have any experience with drying out large reservoirs, do you? Well, maybe. And therein lies the problem. Even if they're down there, we can't exactly spend a lot of time underwater. Yes. I've been thinking about that for a while now. But I think I found a solution. The Rizzo. Would you be willing to lend me a hand? I would not, sir. <laughs> I mean, uh, I me? Am I the star in this game? <laughs> Remember when I asked you if it was possible to make something that would let us move around underwater? Yeah, barely. I mean, I guess. I did say there's no reason I could make something like that. What we need is an amphibious anti-Metal Gear Metal Gear. <laughs> the Navy calls it Ray. Oh, wait, no, the Marines had Ray. Never mind. <laughs> so then, if you help us figure out how to do it, would you be willing to give it a shot? Right now, I have no way to find out if I'm wrong about the treasure waiting us down there. Oh, baby. But also, we got our hands full exploring all the other ruins. You know, all of them? <laughs> we can't stop to explore this ruin. We've got to explore ruins. Well, then. Let me join you. Oh? With your alchemy and my natural talents, we're sure to uncover all kinds of treasure. What talents are those? Well, I got a nice midriff. I have no doubt my skills and experience will come in handy on your explorations. And I can do trick shots with my revolvers. I guess so, bud. You better not take off your mask and be late, I swear to God. Look. You've seen me in action. I threw a uh, boomerang at a blue poony. <laughs> that was pretty badass. You don't have to answer right now. But it's a pr I'm a pretty useful guy to have around, so I hope you'll consider it. And don't even consider okay. using rapid fire, or I'll know. You say you're useful. Can you move a couch up, uh, you know, three flights of stairs? I can, but I will. I dare. <laughs> Well, all right, that's folks. all I really wanted to say. It's like, <laughs> like right at the top of the stairs. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks. Well, we've reached the top of the stairs. We're perilously close to adding uh, Clifford to our party, but the fact that he's not like you know looking over uh, Riz's shoulder at Fee suggests that he in fact isn't here yet. Maybe he'll join us next time. It's always possible, folks. You never know. Anyway, for the next episode of Cliffy Ball Z.